Hey guys, this is CMAX Zero, and I'm back for another uh, RD2 uh, group stage match. Uh, week 2, it's tail end of it. Denied versus uh, Warp Walkers. <clears throat> Denied took the game 1. Um, <clears throat> took game 1, and uh, we'll see. Will they be able to complete the sleep? Or the sleep? The sweep? Or will Orb Walkers be able to uh, take back another game? Uh, but. Looking at the picks, OD is the first pickup for Orb Walkers. They want to make sure they dominate their lane this time. Uh, Shadow Demon and Darkseer are the follow-up picks. Darkseer, I mean Shadow Demon, very good at keeping their his uh, teammates alive. But if coordinated wrongly, he could uh, cost the team some of the fights. A uh, Darkseer, a uh, good could surge in uh, some of his teammates and start initiation. Get a vacuum wall, and it'd be nice. So far, uh, it's team fight oriented. You get the outward destroyer, a sanity eclipse on top of a vacuum wall, and that could deal a lot of damage and could win them the fight almost instantly. On the other side, denied, they decide to pick up the nature's prophet first. This is kind of interesting pick. Uh, nature's prophet is definitely their off laner. Um, if he's ever struggling, he can just go straight to the <clears throat> jungle. Kanka will be their mid. Uh, he should have a decent time against Od. Uh, I think. Um, only because he's got that uh, Tidebringer that could push the lane and harass the OD. Uh, he'll be able to get his bottle, uh, he'll be able to take control of runes, um, though OD should have a pretty strong time as well. Um, both sides will have will be dealing a lot of harass. Juggernaut is the following pickup, and he's going. They're going to do a combo, the classic combo with the Juggernaut Crystal Maiden. I love this uh, because you get the two slope. At level 2, that's so much killing power, you get the Crystal Nova into a Juggernaut Blade Fury. And if you need to, use the Frostbite. Uh, and that could be the easiest first bud. Or following kills for this uh, lane. Or the tri-lane, at least. Uh, they could do a dual combo with the Kunkka, but you know, Shadow Demon was picked up, so uh, that's unlikely. Um, so, instead of comboing with the Leshrac, they're going to use the Lina. Um, Lina's not too bad. Uh, the good thing about her is there are a lot of squishy heroes on Denied um, in, the, in the middle of the team playing. She can just blow up somebody. Um, but these two Ice and Fire sisters, let's see, who does prevail in a, in a tri lane? I, personally, I, I think I prefer Leshrac over the Shadow Demon. Uh, but, you know, uh, I guess it's just a preference of uh, have no pity. I think I forgot to introduce the players last game. Um, if I did, I, I have to apologize. Uh, we were we had some technical difficulties at the time. But the fifth pickup, uh, Laundry gets bent out. I think uh, for Orb Walkers, they do need the rest the the the, the rest of the tri lane. They need their carry. Uh, PLs in the pool. They could always do that. Uh, Gyrocopter was taken out. Alchemist was taken out. Oh well, that's a lot of carries taken out. They might have to go something interesting. I actually wouldn't mind seeing a void here. That could be uh, what makes this game. Ex uh, I mean, makes this game super exciting from the very beginning. For denied, they need their secondary support. The combo with the Crystal Maiden. Uh, Jakiro is in a pull. Uh, denied ran Jakiro very well last time. Uh, that Jakiro player. Uh, played extremely well, and you know, doing an ice ice combo. That's that's really nice. <laughs> so they're gonna pick up the Lana that adds to the team fight. I like this idea. Um, it's just it, it just goes more uh, with the theme that they have. They have uh, the Sanity's Eclipse. You can vacuum in. I mean, vacuum Sanity's Eclipse. I mean, vacuum wall Sanity's Eclipse, uh, and then Eclipse itself. I mean, you could also, if you're good enough, and the co uh, coordination is there, you can get the LSA and hit multiple heroes with it. Shadow Demon's always there in case you want to save a hero that's just getting concentrated on. <clears throat> Though the team fight for the night is not too bad either. I mean, you have the Wrath of Nature, you have the Boat, you have the t the Torrent, Tidebringer, <clears throat> you have the Blade Fury, you have the... Honestly, there's a, there's a lot for the night, although, although theirs is more or less of a Wombo combo. For the fifth pickup, uh, they need that secondary support. Uh, Jakiro is still in a pull, um, but we'll see. Will they? Will they pick him up? Is Visage? Yeah, Visage was banned out. Nyx is banned out. Uh, they could go with the Cottle. I don't know if I like that idea. I mean, Cottle is more of a turtle hero. No aggression. They go with the Spirit Breaker. And I actually thought about that about a minute ago that they might go for it because he has seen some support play and the um, and the professional scene lately. 
I, Alex Mike has been playing it a bit. Uh, Sing Sing uh, in the past ISO Cup. Kaipi in general just picking him up quite a bit. And this will be pretty nice. I mean, he can isolate some heroes, get some bash, and maybe lock them down. Uh, it's mostly a suicidal run, though, so we'll see how this works up. Uh, anyways, we're just waiting for the players to pick up the heroes. And yes, there it is. Uh, time to introduce the players. It'll be the first time because I didn't do it last game. Count Jigglesworth is on the Spirit Breaker, the captain of uh, Denied. On the, on the mid Kunkka, it's going to be Vanix. 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 Well, there's an instant dust. They might go for that first, but they really want to. Uh, Crystal Maiden uh, is being played by... I can't read that. I can't read that. Warrior or something like that? Uh, key Warrior. Huh. And on the Juggernaut. This farming Juggernaut. It's going to be Oops. And Wapo will be on the Nature's Prophet. That's all playing. On the other side, it's going to be Have No Pity. The captain of... Orb Walker is on the OD, this mid OD. Uh, the Carry Luna is being played by Faya. Faya. And actually, they're going to make a go. They will get the first blood. I think no nice disruption. Shadow Demon is there, <clears throat> but they will. They will. They won't get a nice salvo. Uh, they won't be able to get the kill. He'll be able to escape just fine. He's getting under the tower. He could get the kill on the Spear Breaker. He's trying to just right click animation cancel. Oh, so close. But he decides to back up. He just doesn't want to die. So. In the end, the smoke egg fells. <clears throat> That's a lot of wasted time. Oh, okay, not that much. Uh, they might miss a creep. But they're switching the lanes. They don't want to go aggressive. And I guess that makes sense because uh, the Spirit Breaker is so poor uh, early on and he needs a bit of farm, at least to do well. And the only thing is, I, uh, I kind of miss the fact that they won't be able to get any kills with Curse Maiden and Juggernaut combo. But this just might be for the better. Um, for the Nature's Prophet, it just might be better to just leave the lane. It will be extremely hard because Luna will get the Lucent, the Lunar's Blessings up, and they have two other ranged heroes. Well, they could just harass them easily out of lane if they wanted to. Uh, but instead, they're going to try to do the pull. Does that ward block it? Not positive. Uh, but we will see um, once they stack that up. Last hits and denies. There we go. Um, is he going to attack? Yeah, there we go. Oh, he misses the attack! Oh, oh regardless, I don't think he would have gotten it because the treants are there to just <clears throat> block it. But the only downside is Nature Prophet won't be able to get any farm. Um, this will be a bit of trouble for him. He does block the camp though, um, so maybe the lane might push a little bit. Um, did they get the pull through? Actually, no, they haven't, they haven't even stacked it. Is there actually a block? No, there is no block. Starcher should get some levels uh, if done correctly. Of course, he's a bit scared. He doesn't have any levels in Surge quite yet. And, you know, Crystal Maiden Juggernaut combo is just kind of nothing if you don't have, um, if, if you have Darkseer in this lane. At least they have the Frostbite. Oh, there's a charge, but I, I didn't know I, Darkseer would be able to get out. They'll at least just harass him. But it is a huge use of mana. Uh, Kunkka level 3 has. He's 4 for 4, OD is also 4 for 4. He's breaking even, he's using a tiebreaker. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Um, if Kanka could get a torrent, uh, I mean, the, he won't he won't have the mana soon, uh, but it might just be worth it if he torrents tide brings. That could be an easy kill. Uh, OD is only 192 HP. Kanka, does he have superior movement speed uh, to this? Uh, Hell's Bird or Hell's Bringer, whatever the hell you want to call it. No, he doesn't. Wow, that's actually high moves. Made 315. The gush kinds of miss, but I think it's worth it. He can make it another go. He has a bottle, right? But the Tidebringer will just continue to harass and Oh, he's just having a hard time trying to get anything right now. He just can't approach the lane. If there's going to be a first blood, I really think it'll be top lane. Nice profit. Getting nothing. This is the time where you just leave the lane. Let it go. Just go into the jungle. That's all. I. Nature's Prophet needs so much farm to really be effective. And, you know, he's behind on levels, so this is what you need to do. Darkseer will just have an easier time escaping, but, you know, both offliners are struggling quite a bit. On the bright side, uh, Juggernaut is a melee hero. He'll have, uh, if he's tanking creeps, he will have to deal with the Ion Shell. Though it's just level 1. Uh, still, it's quite effective. They will try to make a go. Oh, he could have gotten the disruption. Uh, he, it wouldn't have been a kill. 
But it's the thought that counts, right? Actually, it's possible they could have gotten the kill. A light striker ray into a dragon slave. Uh, they had the soul catcher too. That would have that uh, might have been a kill. Wow. Yeah, because this Ninja Prophet really squishy. Is he gonna make a dive? Yes. Uh, where's the soul catcher? Is the soul catcher latch? I uh, know they're just gonna have to right click him. It might be enough. They're gonna dive, but yes, it is enough. They do get the kill. That's first blood. And it's always nice when they make a prediction correctly. Um, mid lane, Kunkka having a ball right now, just harassing this OD. OD uh, is forced to buy a bit of regen. He just he's not going to ha go for a bottle because he doesn't have to. Um, looks like he's gonna go for a quick mech or a tranquil boots. I right? tranquil boots away. Bamboo, why are you on fire? Bamboo, why why are you on fire? What is that? Is that a rare courier Some kind of effect? Oh man, I'm so shocked by this. I didn't get to see the kill on a Nature's Prophet. And this is clearly the sign that you need to leave. Still, Bamboo's on fire. Oh, Bamboo. Oh well, Nature's Prophet still doesn't want to give it up. He wants to set up that EXP. Uh, I just, I don't know. But he will have his level 3. He does have his level 3, so this will be nice. If he decides to go to the jungle, it will make it a bit easier. I think that's a new courier effect. It just might be one of those rare fire panda courier thing still I'm not a fan of that um, but it's it's kind of cool to to a certain extent uh, if we compare less it's Juggernaut is a little bit behind the Luna um, and Luna also has two kills basically well two assists on her but who has the kills they uh, split between the supports yeah well uh, but they can try to push this they can try to uh, no, grasp Luna is level 5 this will definitely help her out uh, Kanka doing what he can to just harass the OD. Uh, here we go. Bam. Okay, no, no time. Okay, he does have the ghost ship. Uh, let's see if he can play this out well. It could be a very easy kill. If he gets the gush boat, uh, gush into the boat, it would be nice. Um, Triangle Boots is forced out. He could try to cancel it. Um, does it get canceled? I don't remember. Yes, it does get canceled. Top lane. Nature's Prophet is still trying to protect this tower, uh, but remember, this uh, nature almost all Nature's Prophet need to get Midas, and he's still really far from it. On their other side, what you got, Darkseer? Where are you? He decided to go into the jungle. He will get way more farm now. Uh, at least he has Soul Ring up. Nature's Prophet might go down a well. Right clicks, right clicks. That's uh, another kill. Nature's Prophet. Just, just leave the lane. It's just not working out for you at this point. It's just getting really ugly. He does have his level 2 trance. At least, maybe he's just higher level um, than the darks here at this point. But you're still feeding the trialing. You're still feeding the carry. Um, you're still feeding the su other supports. So it's not worth it. I mean, yes, you give up a tower. But who knows? Uh, who knows how it'll work? I still think it's. I still think he needs to go to the jungle, though. A spear breaker. Well, the Z's level three. They're doing the pulls uh, quite successfully. Yes, there we go. They, uh, they just sort of decided to go to the jungle. Even heck, they can even move in and push. I think he's uh, saying that. Yeah, we need to push. Come on, push, guys, push. Ninja Prophet just standing there, farming. So Kanka, what you got? He's got a DD rune. This might be the time for him to try to get a kill on an OD. Uh, OD, no, he's not. He's not even close to dying. The Tranquil Boots is well worth his money, um, but he at least forced him to buy something like that. So Dark has actually moved back into lane. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. I guess it's not too bad because he wants to protect the tower. Kaka just harassing out. Some more with the Tidebringer. He actually has no level. Actually, there's a gank. Soulcatcher does latch. I think this is a very dead Kunkka. Goodbye, Kunkka. Can't even throw the boat. Uh, that's a big kill. A really big kill. Uh, there's a charge from the Spirit Breaker. Uh, does he really want to go on this? Uh, I think it got cancelled. Yes, it got cancelled. That would have been really ballsy for him to do that. So Odi will be able to get back into the game. We'll, uh, he'll get some free CS. Kanka is dead. And currently the score 0 for 4. Uh, 0 to 4. Warpwalker is leading. Uh, there's a Chris Maiden also <laughs> standing back. Uh, just trying to push the tower. Maybe they want to get the kill. Uh, he does have mana for the uh, healing ward, so it, that would be nice for him. But man, he's taking a lot of damage from that. 
Um, looks looks like he's gonna go for that farm and Dragonaut get that battle fury. I'm not really going for any big items. He could uh, get the face boots to help get kills with the blade fury. <laughs> Well, actually, they're going to make a go on a Dark Seer, but man, I shall do a lot of damage. They're going to surge. They try. I think they might be able to get the kill on a Juggernaut. There's a Frostblade, uh, frost but it's just not going to be enough. Uh, there's a gank. Regardless, this might be a wipe of the tri lane and a big mistake for this uh, Radiant Tri. There's no way he's going to get be able to get up. And these supports are really fat. Even the Shadow Demon level 6 putting the purge on him. But man, that was. Uh, I think Luna got a solo kill. Um, she might die though. She might be the first. Oh no, she will be fine. She gets out. She gets a kill on the Nature's Prophet, I believe. Yes, it's another death for this Nature's Prophet. He's only got gloves of haste. He's not close to his minus at all. He still needs it. So Ern is getting pick got picked up on the Shadow Demon. This is a really fat support. Uh, two zero and four. Lean on the other side is one zero and five, and they do it. In they do a smoke. They want to go mid again. They want to kill the Kunkka. Kunkka. Uh, is instead trying to count, uh, gank them. It's going by. The thing is, it's hard for him to gank, uh, especially without the X marks this spot. Just might be better to just leave it. This at level one, max this, and leave this at level two. A level two X mark to spot combo with the gut with the torrent is about perfect timing if you get this correctly. Oh, is there. Um, and double imprisonment slash disruption will be nice in catching people out of position. But we will see. <clears throat> So Darkseer is rotating in, they can do a vacuum. Oh, oh, they do get the disruption somehow. I'm not sure how they got the vision. Soulcatcher actually doesn't land. Uh, Lina wasn't able to get the timing correct. Uh, but now, 0 and 8. So, looking at the graph, yes, it is heavily at um, <coughs> Orb Walker's favor. They had the early game advantage. Uh, Nature's Prophet basically fed top. But, you know, Nature Prophet's doing what he does best. Uh, he's making a bit of recovery since he has his level 6 Wrath in Nature, and he's staying in jungle now. I think, I think, yeah. It's a bit too late to just go there. After your first or two, first one or two deaths, it's just time for you to leave. Uh, but he, uh, he waited until like his third or fourth to really make it permanent. Actually, OD is really low. If he throws a blind boat, it's possible. If you walk up here and boat, this OD might be dead. But, oh, Gush just barely misses. Oh, he decides to back up just in time. Uh, in that case, yeah, I really think he could have walked up here, stand here, and boated. Uh, I don't know if he had the time, though. Well, at least this Kanka is quite farmed. A uh, 41 for 6. Juggernaut also is quite farmed. Although he has one death to his name. They use Omni Slash. They haven't used their ultimates quite yet. Playfair even used. Tried try to get some last sets. He's working on that Battle Fury. <clears throat> to really get that uh, farm going, get some cleave as well. Wow, Darkseer actually picks up the uh, the Hood of Defiance. And so the magical damage will no longer be that much of a threat. Kanka, he's gonna die here! I yes, there it is! Uh, they just combo him to death. Kanka, did he throw out the ball? No, he didn't even have the mana to this. Oh wow, this lead is really low help. Spirit Break, canceling the charge. And the Spirit Breaker pick has just not been doing that much. It's just not being a... Yeah, you're just not going to get the kill on a Dark Seer. Um, he's got Surge. But they need to be careful. There's going to be a rotation from these supports. Surge him. Usage Surge. Yeah, there we go. There's the Surge on the Shadow Demons like they heard me. I'm going to try to get a Disruption. There's the Disruption. Uh, they know Blade Fury is down. The Soul Catcher does land, but the rest of the teammate aren't there. <coughs> he could have... No, he didn't have the mana or the, or and, and it was on cooldown for him to purge. Uh, so that's okay. So Odie has finished up his mech. Uh, probably looking to get his uh, battle fury. I mean, not battle fury. Four staff up. Akanka died twice, uh, but you know he's he's working on his crystallis or shadow blade. Probably shadow blade at this point. He's dying a bit too much. Going to try to force. He supports the bite by. by uh, Detection. There's a TP from Shadow Demon somewhere. Did he just go? He went top smokes instantly. A uh, Shadow Demon is roaming. Has been extremely good. They want to kill on a Nature's Prophet. <clears throat> and they could easily get it. Luna can just walk up there. <clears throat> she does have her Eclipse. 
Yeah, just pop it. Fill under pressure will get out. No, there's no the. Oh, he can't see it. Does he get it? No. Oh, so close. Oh, he tried to get the poison, but the poison vision just uh, went away at the last second. <clears throat> That's gotta be a bit frustrating. Maybe, maybe he should just be like, I should buy tangos just for this. I think I might. <laughs> I think I might have done that. The rotation almost working out, but wasted smoke. So now we've gotten to this uh, farming stage of the game. Uh, if if it's just pure farming, I think this would definitely help denied. Anytime um, or walkers are not putting any pressure denied and denied is able to get some farm up. This will be good for them. Uh, Kanka actually bought something. He's got something on a courier. What is it? It's going to be the claymore. He will have at least half of Shadow Blade up. <clears throat> that will give him some quick damage with the splash. There's the gush, um, but he's not going to boat. Too many people don't need he doesn't have any backup. So, I mean, why not? He's got the he's got the regen. I'll just keep throwing the gush. Low cooldown. Now he's going back for levels on X marks. It's only level one and really not that good. Uh, he might probably throw a gush now. Um no no gush. Um, there, it looks like they're just gonna give up this tier one, maybe. There's glyphs, but again, no real rotation. I mean you got the niche, probably you got a kunkka. You just can't do anything outside of that. Dragonaut is coming in. I, I think he wants to try to get a... Oh, there's the gush. X marks the spot. It will hit. Oh, nice Astro Imprisonment. It will save him. Wall and Purge goes out on a Kunkka. Kunkka might die here. Uh, OD is getting charged. Kunkka trying to run away. Just needs to get right click just one more time. There's a search for it. Yes, goodbye Kunkka. Even if he didn't, Shadow Demon would have secured the kill. They do kill Alina. Omni Slash was used. They don't get any other follow up. Oh, actually, they might get the Darkster. Darkster is trying to wait, run away. He's got the search. Where's the tree spout? Sprout. Oh, actually misses, but at least it's enough. Uh, they'll probably just get more right clicks. Uh, Nature's, Nature's Prophet ulti is bouncing around. Yes, it does get the kill on the Darkster, so it is kind of worth it at this point. They still lost the tier 1, though. Oh, OD is getting bashed, though. Nice sprout, but Astral Imprisonment is there. It will, it will delay things. They might be able to kill the OD. It might be enough. It just might be. I don't think so. Oh, this Spear Breaker, he's level 6. He can skill up his ultimate. Why oh, you know skill up ultimate? Oh, no. Actually, even if he skilled up the ultimate, he wouldn't have the mana, would he? No, he would have had the mana, I think. Uh, regardless, Crystal Maiden dies, and oh, look at that splash. They do get to pick up on Shadow Demon. If Spearbreaker had skilled up his ultimate, that would have been for sure a kill on the OD. Uh, yes, you would sacrifice your life. I mean, at that moment, you just sacrifice your life for nothing. Arm gets picked up on the Spearbreaker. That would be nice for him. Uh, he's charging once again. Uh, where is he going? Looks like he's going to go bot. Yes, they're trying to find- I think Luna's dead! I think Luna's dead! I, I mean, even if she tries to TP, which she can't, Tranquil Boots is broken, and this is going to be a kill for the Spirit Breaker. It's going to be, yes, kill. Goodbye, Luna. Bash. Ulti. Oh! That was amazing Astral Imprisonment. I, oh my gosh. For sure. I thought for sure she was going to die. Uh, but Astral Imprisonment from the OD. Excellent. Wow. That was definitely an amazing play on his part. They're going to try to make Go Gush actually misses. Man, that's awesome. Look at that tail. Comes out. Kanka, does, is that a mortal eye? Oh, here's the boat. It will hit one Lena and. Oh, actually, hits two. She hits it both supports. There's the wall. Where's the vacuum? Vacuum was on cooldown. It was already used. Um, maybe it was just used then. Uh, they get no kills. Uh, they back out cleanly. Um, but even though uh, the game started 0 and 9 for denied, they are they show that they can still put up a fight. It doesn't look quite like that. Another amazing astral imprisonment from the OD team. Going to have to run. Shadow Demon doesn't have his purge quite yet. He wish he did. That would have been a very dead juggernaut. So the gold grabs. What's it telling me? Let's kind of go back and forth. Once that initial start had um had favored orb walkers. Not anymore. I'm not a button presser. Hmm. Interesting build. I mean, he goes for disruption and then maxes out Soul Catcher and only two level in Shadow Poison. Uh, I don't know if I'm a fan of that because first Shadow, I mean Soul Catcher isn't guaranteed that will land um, Shadow Poison. I mean, it's it's a little bit more guaranteed damage 
it's easier to land and it's kind of an AOE to a certain there's a disruption zone that you will land in this case is there any follow up a uh, spirit breaker could charge away if he needs to actually no charges on cooldown so he's just gonna run away uh, cleanly but mid in the fight they actually get the frostbite on the Luna Jarga and I actually throws out his blade fairy he should be fine um actually Jarga they might have been in range to get a demonic purge but nope regardless they're just gonna try to push and uh, they defend successfully their tier 1 tower. But their tier 1 is very healthy. They just probably go on top trying to get some harass. Uh, he's just popping his ulti everywhere. Uh, he sees the Luna now. He's going to like, yeah, I remember my lesson last time. She uh, solo killed me with the Eclipse. Uh, Kanka trying to get that type bigger harass. And I think he did. Uh, very low health. Kanka. What's your skill ball now? Uh, he still he ended up maxing the tour only one level on Xbox. But I really think two is just nice. Also, something that you can do is you can X marks yourself, walk up there, crit, and then you get bounced back to safety. I don't think it'll work if there was a, an astral though at the right time. So maybe that is a bit dangerous. <laughs> Uh, well, just a reminder. Uh, RD2L rules say no all talk, uh, no all chat talking, unless um, it's just courtesy. Whew. So item progression. Uh, Luna getting her BKB up. I think she's tired of the Crystal Maiden and tired of the Nature's Prophet shenanigans and Kunkka stuff. Odie, he's well on his way to a to the four staff. He only needs about uh, 300 more gold, 275, um, to be a little bit more exact. Uh, Odie will have it very soon. Battle Fairy is finally picked up on a Juggernaut. 20 minutes in, a little bit slow, but he has been dying. Uh, well, unable, not dying, but unable to get his farm up. Uh, Kanka, he's finally got his Shadow Blade, so this will definitely help um, get some crits in, spread out that damage. Spirit Breaker, you know, just trying to get the earn up. Uh, Nature's Prophet does have his Midas and Treads. His farm will start to accelerate. He's even got half of the Shadow Blade. Uh, he will have it very soon, probably in about two and a half minutes. Maybe even less, uh, depending on how much uh, jungling farm that the rest of his teammates uh, decide to allot him. He's getting pretty good farm, though. 850 gold, basically. Oh, there's a smoke up, uh, but blue. They're why they, they he points out that yeah, they are there. So the rest right here. Oh, and here's the cliff pop for a juggernaut, but he just spins out of there. Demonic purge is there. Juggernaut is dead. Uh, he stuck around a bit too long. It gets picked off. At least had the omni like omni slash to work with once he's up. Uh, Spear breaker is charging. Not the right choice, but I think he's just using it for mobility purposes. So Nature's Prophet, gonna go top, push that out. Uh, meanwhile, since Juggernaut is dead, they can probably make a small siege on this tier 2. I just don't know what, what they'll be able to. Actually, they're gonna make a go, but I don't think they actually landed on Kaka. Yes, it's, it's, it's a small chance that it was gonna land there. Crystal Manning throws out a Crystal Nova. Just trying to slow down the siege. Uh, they're still gonna try it though. Uh, Juggernaut is almost back. Wow, uh, look at that. Tidebringer really done a lot of damage, even to Luna. <laughs> he could just Shadow Blade up crit the next wave and that would be like half the health of the entire team well at least they have tranquil boots <clears throat> pkp is up finally on this luna they're scouting they want to pick off bot lane Juggernaut is going again on the dark seer dark seer well he's a bit in damage he's doing the right thing sticking with the creeps he needs to run he will get ganked this will be his second death in two minutes goodbye juggernaut we've seen this movie before right click right click goodbye and he gets picked off once again. Not the best situation that you want um, for your carry juggernaut, your one world juggernaut. On a bright side, uh, I mean, you still have like these backup cores here, core heroes. You have the Nature's Prophet, and you have Kanka. Nature's Prophet has p finished as Shadow Blade. Um, like I said, about two and a half minutes. And you know he's gonna do some nature of prophet stuff just kind of for us. They will try to get the kill. Oh, Kunkka! He can't shadow blade now. He can't even use his invis. He's gonna try to TP out. There's a stun. No, never mind. It's a disruption. Oh, and then the team, the rest of the cavalier comes in and pick him off. And the split pushing just not working out too much uh, right now. Uh, Denied just getting picked off everywhere. Juggernaut being a bit overly aggressive. 
Whew. So what do you do? Um, all I can say, keep up what you're doing. Just don't get picked off. <laughs> um, but wow, Spirit Breaker Charging trying to do what he does best. Oh, nice match. He hits them both, but he does have the ulti. They will try to kill the Luna. Luna, oh, there's an Honor Slash just for her, and it works out just fine. They will get the Darks here as well. This is working out nicely for them. Um, <laughs> they just probably nearly died to his own illusion. He will walk out just fine with the Shadow Blade. Uh, meanwhile, top, they will siege um, at least. But two heroes are dead. Maybe they need a backup. Uh, Nature's Prophet ulti is bouncing around. Probably get one or two. Well, does a little bit of damage, not too much. There's a gush! And there's a bow! It will catch him! No, nice disruption! Wow, the Shadow Demon playing excellently! And so is OD. Uh, they might be able to find the uh, Shadow Demon. Will it work? Oh, Laguna Blade gets a kill on a Crystal Maiden, killing his sister. Uh, her sister. Uh, well, again, the charge hitting three. It's good. Uh, this might be really bad. OD looks to be dead. He pops his ulti, but it doesn't do much damage. It's, the damage is kind of getting uh, Shadow Demon just kind of sacrificing himself. They are trying to run away, but this is a really fast juggernaut. Click, right click, right click. There's the X marks just quite goodbye. And Darkseer might have to sacrifice his life for not. He's trying to run. He's got this a Gucci. Uh, the, the, the search. Never mind. Bash. Right click. And wow, that's a team wipe, guys. That's a team wipe. Plus one. Uh, Darkshire died yet again. Getting two on the bottom. And uh, the three three uh, orb walking heroes. Got a bit greedy trying to get this tower, but in the end, they pay with their lives. Uh, although the disruption happened. Oh my gosh, Luna gets caught out again. She gets bashed, and this is the power of Spirit Breaker, but he is going to die from the eclipse. Uh, no, never mind. It's a juggernaut as well. Yep. One more loosen beam from the Luna. And it gets the last hit on the Spirit Breaker. So, overextension, uh, Crystal Maiden will die as well. Oh, actually, he was able to fog him, but there's a force out from somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, from the OD. <laughs> so, overextensions on both sides, and um, honestly, the rating should have just backed off after that. It shouldn't have tried to dive on Alina. But you know, that's hindsight bias. Um, I think they knew that the um, Eclipse was up. But right now, they're going to try to get that tower. Juggernaut does have his Omni Slash boat, is of course still up. There's a gosh, it will miss everything. But. Probably will become so. Oh, there's a four staff astral imprisonment. This might be a dead Kunkle. Will they be able to get him now? Goes up the high ground. Trying to play it safe. SB charge going in. He might have to cancel that. No, he's not going to cancel it. He wants to go in. Oh, there is an X marks the spot, but he doesn't get the combo quite, quite right. Uh, but there's actual fits of astral imprisonment. They might. Yes, they do get the kill on the Kunkle at least. Shadow Demon might die though. He's trying to juke. Uh, he will die. Goodbye, Shadow Demon. But it's a Kunkle for a Shadow Demon so far. Not so good. Uh, actually, oh, oh, I thought he was going to TP out and OD is going to die. This is an excellent trade for them now. Um, even though the score is 11 to 22, it looks like it's a dead even game. What did the graphs tell me? It is pretty close. Um, but I thought, I thought it was SB that was getting the overextensions. In the end, Kanka gets killed. The Laguna Blade was used on him. Uh, but in, the, in return, they killed the Shadow Demon and the OD. Worth the trade. Now they're gonna go for Roche. Do they have to damage for it? Uh, maybe? I mean, it's a really slow Roche Shan. They're gonna do their best. On the bright side, I don't know if they're if the Dyer are aware of it. Uh, they might have seen them when they rotated through to here. But, let's see. Oh, it looks like they're gonna get this without a fight. Uh, surprisingly, I guess they actually walked through here. Yeah, I think they did walk through here and into the Roshan pit. I should probably draw a line. So, like, through here, there. Yeah. Terrible drawing. Whatever. Uh, so, Kunkka, working on his crits now. Uh, it, it is a bit delayed for sure. Uh, his mid start wasn't too bad, at least, but they need to be careful. He could get picked off. Shadow him in. I think so. They're gonna make it go. Yes, they they want to catch the Kanka. Kanka needs to back out. Yes, I think I think he's his game sense is finally there. No, he, he he's great. He's gonna die. I think there's a four. Yeah, strong person. Goodbye. Uh, is this the time to fight? I don't know. You don't have the dragon out now. Just run. A Kanka dies instantly. Oh, why did you do that, Spirit Breaker? I think he's dead as well. Uh, nothing he can do there. 
Just back out. Leave this greedy kunkka. Oh, that, that was painful to watch. Overextension is on both sides. And the knight is definitely in this game still, but... <laughs> but they're just making it harder for themselves. Uh, top lane. Uh, I guess we'll do an item check. I mean, OD. This is... Uh, Oblivion is that probably going to turn into two Orchid? I can't tell you that. I'm not positive. Maybe a Refresher? I'm not sure. We will have to see. Luna, on the other side, is trying to get that Manta. Uh, does have the Manta still have, does have the PKP charge. It's 8 seconds now. Uh, what do you go for her? I mean, she could go for, I mean, Helmet Dominator and really start stacking. I think that would be nice for her, uh, Helmet Dominator. There's a TPN, she's gonna try to get the tower, maybe Kanka is there? He could have done X Mark, maybe? Uh, it's level 3, actually. She's gonna just man fight this uh, Kanka. Well, unable to deny the tower. Dark's here. Uh, he does have the pipe. Wow, he's super rich. He's got 1800 gold in the bank. I would like to see him to go for Genzo. For the OD, and I, I meant to mention this earlier. Um, even if he gets Refresher, maybe not that good. Um, even if he gets Orchid, still not that good. Um, Genzo would be just much better. Gives you a bit, a bit of survivability, a lot of regen. And gives you the Sable that really helps out. Um, you can shut down any one of these heroes. Before the fight starts, or in the middle of the fight, so they can't get it. Yes, he's gonna go for Orchid. I just, I don't know if I approve of this. I guess they're trying to make him into a right clicker, but still, even for a carry OD, uh, Kintu is like a staple. So Kanka, um, working on the crit still, uh, he's close. I mean, he at least has the blades of attack, uh, but the recipe, I think, is what's how much does the recipe cost? Uh, the, the crystals recipe cost 500. Yeah, he's actually close, really close. Just don't die, just don't get. There's a disconnect from the ducks. There will be a pause. Yes, there's a pause out from more walkers. They are leading this. Um, hopefully he'll connect quickly. That's not a big issue. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Nature's Prophet is doing the right thing, he's trying to get the Hex up, he, he does have it actually. I think he's just going to try to make his way to the side shop to get it. Yeah, he's just walking up there. Get the Hex up, this would help them immensely. I mean, OD doesn't have a BKB, so if you shut him down before he can get some right clicks in, or if he gets caught out of posi position, because he's going to force staff, force staff himself forward um, in order to Astral imprison someone. And also, I mean... Luna as well, you can also catch her out, and you can get it before she gets her BKB up, so they can maybe kill her. Shit, people never... <laughs> well, I believe you, I believe you. It's hard to do it. Uh, it takes a bit of practice and a lot of coordination. He doesn't need that much farm, he just needs to be a bit lucky. And you're right, I mean, Sing Sing proved it, and Izo and other, other teams did too. And it looks like Spear Picker is going to try to go for jumps. He's really close. Got about a, about 200 more gold before he gets it. Juggernaut has been staying on the same items for a bit, um, but that but he's also got 3,100 gold left in bank and an Aegis. Uh, though Aegis will probably um, expire in a little bit. Um, probably looking to finish up the. Um, Eagle Song. Yeah, get the e Eagle Song. Uh, get the Butterfly. That won't be too bad for him. Only thing is, he's still really squishy. 1200 HP, that's like that's like nothing. He doesn't have uh, anything. Uh, Luna? Are they going to try to go 1v1? Uh, in a 1v1, Juggernaut should win because he has Omni Slash and Blade Fury. Uh, I mean, Luna still has her... Uh, the Eclipse. But... Oh well, Nature Prophet does finish up his hex. Like I said before, he was just gonna walk up there. Um, well, he's gonna be able to respawn that. Let it. No, don't block it. Don't block it. I, I don't think that blocks it. Yes, he should be fine. Uh, he might just go up high ground again and get the ancients, but he won't. He's gonna try to push out the lane. So what's his next item? I mean, he could go for damage items. Uh, Necro book won't be too bad of a thing because that's more of the split pushing Nature's Prophet. Uh, right click damage, of course, is always. 
uh, is like a favorite for uh, most of these natures. Perfect. Actually, OD finds a pick off on a Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden probably just trying to ward. Um, she will there. There's a surge of uh, Astral Imprisonment, but she actually missed. Oh, this is going to be a very dead uh, Wobbo. Oh, he gets away just fine. They don't have any detection. You know they have Shadow Blades. Oh, the bit late. Well, nah, it's just not worth it. You know he's gone. Get Dust. Get a gem. You guys are leading. Get a gem. <laughs> this dark. Oh my gosh. Juggernaut gets a kill on the Luna. Luna looks like she was trying to dive base or something. Not sure what that was. And yeah, they're they're saying. Wow, that's EG. And that's yeah. Uh, uh, they might be throwing this game. Um, both sides making plenty of mistakes. Uh, Luna just don't do that. <clears throat> So looking at the gold graph, it's still just hovering around 75. And wow, another trade OD. Konka, where were you? I'm missing all these kills. I'm not sure. Yes, I guess he was right here. Is there a gem finally picked up? I uh, know Darks are choosing to try to go for a hex. Uh, Orchid is basically up on this OD. Yeah, he has a tower now. He will have Orchid. There we go. They're going to make a siege. I mean, Omni Slash is down. Uh, Konka is dead as well. They don't have the Aegis, though. There's going to be a charge on a OD. Oh, this might be enough damage. Nice Hex, but an even better disruption. There's a wall. OD will get out just fine. That was an excellent disruption. Well played by him. Uh, Nature's probably looks to be dead. He doesn't have to Shadow Blade. Oh, goodbye. <clears throat> At least the wall was used. Uh, Shadow Blade. Oh my, there's a purge going out on the Juggernaut. Juggernaut might get, oh he gets stunned somehow. That didn't look like it was going to land. A Juggernaut wants in, don't go in. A Chris Maiden dies due to the poison. Dragon Slave doesn't connect. Kunkka's back though, he could boat. Gush, bolt, gush. Yes, here's the boat. Yo, oh, it's two. There we go. And he's going to try to get the crit. He nearly kills him. A uh, nice Astro though. The, the Soul Catcher does land. Oh, he actually gets stuck. No, doesn't get stuck. He's fine. A Spirit Breaker wants back in, but he will die quickly. They're just going in one at a time. Omni Slash is still not up. Dragonaut just trying to spin his way and deal some damage. Nice four staff. And, uh, oh, now he's in trouble. He does get the Omni Slash off. He will kill two. No, the Astral Imprisonment saving the other one. Where is. Oh, there's a Astral. Uh, there's a disruption. It's really. This double disruption idea is working so well from them. Um, they will be. Now they can see just. After that just crazy fight, Crystal made him dying so quickly. She at least can afford bracers. Nature's Prophet trying to get that damage out. Crystal Maiden? Crystal Maiden? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. yeah, just don't do that. There's the boat. It will miss. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, I thought it was going to hit. Shadow Demon. But, uh, oh, the clip's going out. Uh, but there's an the invis. Spirit Breaker's charging once again. Going man mode crazy. But just no follow up. He cancels. That's the right idea. Maybe you can push bot, Nature's Prophet. Yes, I think he's taping a bot. And that's the right choice to do. Um, he's gonna try to push, get, get the trade. At least they defend the Rex. There's the geyser, but it misses. I wish he had a vision for the X mark. So Nature's Prophet looks like he's trying to get the, um, trying to get the Okonka once and he gets, how did they see him? Is there a gem? Oh, he's gonna die. Here, I, how did they see him? Huh, Jim, oh, okay, Jim on the Shadow Demon. So, Kaka getting caught out once again. Really? Oh, that's a block in for uh, Jigglesworth. That's a dead Spirit Breaker, Spirit Breaker. Gets blood up there. And now they will be able to make a siege. They will be able to at least get the Tier 3 tower. It's just profit. I think buy a TP scroll, go top, uh, push that out as much as you can. Maybe just try to get a trade. That's all you can do. <sighs> but, anyways. This looks to be a pretty free tier 2. Uh, Crystal Maiden trying to do what she can, but she's just a Crystal Maiden. Juggernaut does have his ulti, um, at least. But you know, there's like double disruptions, and that will save the team. A lot. All melee racks get go down basically for free. No trades whatsoever. Ancient Prophet not even doing much. So now they're just going to get out for free. Uh, they need to have a successful retreat to really capitalize on the advantage that they have. And they do. They do. 
but Neo Zeka really do much. And this is what Unite should have done Nature's Prophet earlier. If you weren't going to defend, at least get the split push going. I guess you were just a bit indecisive at that moment. But that's kind of a big deal. Um, get the split push. I mean, you could have gone bot, you could have gone top. <clears throat> and just, you know, have a TP score with you. I mean, what's the point of having Mantle intelligent, of intelligence at this point when, when, you know, you could be possibly pressuring their tier 3? So Spirit Breaker, he does have his drums, does have the urn. His HP is not bad. Um, is, does he have higher HP? Uh, than I say no, but almost. Uh, Luna has the most HP at the moment, but I mean, it's just not that much. Regardless, her damage is what's scary. The Glaives could really, really push down uh, buildings fast, and we saw that. We saw how fast those racks went. They just went doom, 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 bouncing back and forth. So, the Dire just going to man mode their way into the top lane. Uh, Nature's Prophet trying to get the trade uh, like he's supposed to do now. Uh, he's trying to push. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. I don't think he can really do much now. Um, does he have a TP score actually? No, but he does have a regular TP. There's a disruption to get basically some free Mantis style illusions. Oh, actually, there's the bone. It will land. They might be able to get the kill on Alina. No. Uh, oh, they're all backing up now. Is it going to be enough? Oh, look at the blade gets used on an Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet getting really greedy. Not sure what he's doing. Honey Slash is going out. They might be able to kill Alona. Alona's really low. She does die. Oh, that's two. Lena is going to die as well. The Spirit Breaker getting those lucky bashes and Aaron going out. And the movement speed so fast on them. They're going to be able to. Oh, there's a force up. It's just not. No. Uh, there's a gem given away. OD, what, where were you? Did he TP away? I think he TP'd away to try to. Yeah, I think he might have went to go protect bot. So a four for one trade. It worked out brilliantly. Worked out brilliantly. They lose the Nature's Profit. But so what? <laughs> so Nature's Profit actually going to go for Ags. Really wants to push the lanes hard with the Wrath of Nature. And so they're right back into this game. I mean, yes, they lost the Rags here, um, but they have decent pushing power. I mean, they have the Juggernaut Battle Fury, they have Nature's Prophet, of course, and they have uh, the Cleave Tidebringer. And there's a Crystalis up on this um, Kaka. So they're going to try to make their ways uh, upwards. I mean, they don't really have the ultimates. Uh, uh, luckily, the cooldown for Bow is nice. They will try to. I think they can at least get the tier 2, and maybe they can smoke up as soon as they kill it. There's a Glyph. Uh, force thought that doesn't land. Man, it's so cool. I really like this uh, torrent animation now. Uh, on tell. Uh, I think that's, that just goes with the immortal item. I'm not sure though. There's a surger trying to get that back. Uh, no, he's just trying to punch the healing ward. <laughs> Edge Prophet pushing top. Doing what he's, he, he knows how to do it. Is he going for Scotty instead? Oh, that would explain the orb of venom. I think he's going to go for Scotty. Give them survivability, but I think there are better items. Uh, I don't think it's bad, um, but we will have to see. I, I might prefer Acro Book over this because it could help you deward as well. Gem is nice, but you can't lose Necro Book, and Necro Book would be pretty good at get against this lineup. Dyer gets killed. Uh, uh, Dyer, no, Dyer gets killed. Dyer gets the kill on the Roshan. This will be quite big. Um, Darkseer has the scythe now. This this could actually win them the game. Right here, they just need to be careful and not get caught out like that last time. And again, I I don't know. Od, why why you no go hex stick? Hex stick is so good. Um, but I, I, he just wants to get that right click damage going. He's trying to get that refresher up. So Konga trying to finish up his Daedalus. I think Daedalus would be beautiful on them. Uh, is there another gem? Uh, they do have dust at least, but doesn't look like gem is in sight. Uh, Lena looks like he's, she's going for Ag Scepter, but there's a chance she doesn't finish it. So she just wants like the point booster and probably Ogre Staff. Ogre Axe. <laughs> Ogre Staff. Top lane, they just profit. Pushing as always. Doing what he knows how to do best. He's probably just going to TP bot. There's a possibility they could just hide in a trace and get get a good gank off. Uh, they know he's going to try to TP back. They could just smoke up whenever he TPs in. Uh, it could be an easy kill for them. Instead, they're just going to chase him all over the map. So not the best use of resources. 
uh, resources, resources, resources. <laughs> so Juggernaut does have his butterfly, but you know his his HP pool is very low. Uh, well, Luna Meemaw picks up hers as well. I should have put this on net worth a long time ago. Nature's Prophet is up there with the Luna. Uh, Juggernaut is above the OD. So, looking at the graph, I mean the gold is still quite big, um, but but you know they're still they can still win these fights. Uh, as we saw earlier, they got four kills uh, in, in one trade, but that was because OD TP back, so it was a four v five fight. Um, but you know the later this game goes, I think it will favor um, the radiant. Uh, you have the three core. <clears throat> Though, I mean, there's a lot of Gintu holders, for sure, on the other side. You have the Darkseer. And, honestly, OD should have had a Gintu a long time ago. Um, but, I guess that's okay. Maybe he can prove me wrong. But, I, I, I still think, I mean, even if OD wins the game, I, I just, I just, I just really feel like Gintu is a better item over Orchid. <clears throat> Whew! Regardless, Nature's Prophet back to farming, pushing out the bot lane. He's got the Scotty at least. Um, what do you go for next, man? Uh, you could go for crits. That'd be cool. Heck, you can even so switch out these power trends for boots of travel if you want. That'd be kind of redundant, uh, but it'd be pretty hilarious. But man, that just makes you really annoying. And already he's being really annoying with this um, split pushing farm. So yes, I think what they should do is just push this out and try to bait this. They shouldn't have so shown so many people here. Actually, they only show two. And then push out the lane. And then hide here. Like, hide here or something. Or hide here or something. Or just smoke up before them. Regardless, uh, they're like, screw it. We're not going to deal with the shenanigans. We're just going to push bot like men. Uh, but are they missing ever? Are they missing someone? I think they have all five. Yeah, they have all five here. <clears throat> so Nature's Prophet unable to get the push out. Does throw out the Wrath of Nature trying to push the lanes out top and mid just a little bit. Uh, but they're going to make headways on this. There's a disruption trying to get Luna Illusions up. Uh, the Gush does miss, unfortunately for him. Okay, will throw out the boat. It's going to be a whiff. Crystal Maiden even popping her ulti. But man, those illusions. Those illusions. Crystal Maiden might die here. She's overextended. Way, way too. Oh! Oh, that was brutal. Oh, that looked really bad. Basically killing her sister. And the Glaives! Like I said, they just can't defend it. You gotta do something, man. Uh, the boat whiffing like that was just a big mistake. Uh, Omni Slash is there at least. Oh, there's the demonic pressure. I'm gonna be able to just right click him down. Omni Slash is there. Oh, nice LSA! We'll get an. Oh, they blow Kunk up. This, is, this will be GG. I don't know how they can come back from this now. Uh, and. Man, the man is so much damage. So let's talk about Dragon. No HP, just no HP. He will get the Omni Slash, but damage is kittens at this point. They will go for the tier force. <clears throat> oh, there's the Barra ulti, but <laughs> just dies so quickly. That's GG. I think even the dust gets popped. Oh, nice disruption to save him, kind of. Well, just delaying his. Oh, Crystal Man box up gets instant hacks. They're just dying over and over again. Just walking in one at a time. It looked like the Radiant might be able to make a comeback, but just these pickoffs are just uh, really bad. I mean, mistakes definitely for the dire side. But could have been executed better. Uh, Kunkka just kept dying. <sighs> Juggernaut. Uh, Blade Fairy going out, but he's just. Yeah. Uh, right click. Yeah. Uh, so, Nature Trophy dies. Yep. Well, this is just basically packing the stats at this point. They're going to go for the Angels. There's the GG, well played. Uh, pickoffs, way too much for Denied. I mean, it looked like they could do something for a bit. And yeah, just wasn't enough. So congratulations uh, to Warwalkers for winning game two. But both both sides played decently well. It is a one for one, uh, kind of messy. Not the best Dota we've or cleanest Dota, but it was wildly entertaining nonetheless. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, even split in this series, um, and I hope you guys join me next time.